Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Wednesday, June 8th. My name is Angela. My name is Jeremy. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It no. is a social experience. What does that mean, Angela? Well, it means that I don't look at you. I look at the chat room, which I have here on my iPad. And what I have over here on a not iPad. <laughs> it's over there on a screen where we look at ourselves. <laughs> and it's over there. Oh, it's not. It, what are you doing? It, I don't know. It We've should, ruined everything. It should it's be still there down here, though. Don't worry about it. It's still down here. In the lower third. <laughs> right? Say hi. <laughs> That's our chat room. Yep. Hello from the chat room. <laughs> well, so tonight we are doing um, uh, our monthly award show. Mm-hmm. And... The live viewers submitted their desk and office space awards or pictures. And we've done this once before. And, yes, uh, this particular one. We've been doing monthly award shows for almost a year, believe it or not. Whoa, really? I know, right? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost a year. So awesome. Um, this is the second time we've done desk and office spaces. But it's so. good because we've gotten new people to, to mm-hmm. watch and many of our old people have sadly moved on. So we didn't get many um, like repeat, repeat. Mm-hmm. things. And but what so we that's did cool. get were cleaner desks. No, <laughs> <laughs> That's just because I didn't send a picture. It's not a prerequisite. <laughs> it really isn't. Send it how it is. So yeah, it's um, actually more funny that way. Yeah. Not funny. We're not laughing at you. No. No. So this is the handy not dandy. <laughs> Here's the handy dandy thing that I made today. I spruced it up um, with purple and, and with the new logo with Galactrix's logo. That's easy to say, isn't which it? Is, yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> I might be saying it wrong even. But um, anyway, I have that on my shirt, and then if if you're watching the uh, edited version, it's in the intro. It's it's and this is also that version on a t-shirt is that available on our jb gear shop yet it is awesome it is so i'm gonna go ahead and put that link in the show notes i'm just gonna drop that right on their faces right down here okay printfection.com forward slash jb gear go buy yourself a faux show shirt peeps Woo! there's actually a couple in there and um we'll tell you about one in a little bit so All right. let's go to the first award on with the show and it is for avatar continuum now, uh, this is awesome. I previewed his link that he sent us earlier. Mm-hmm. Did you manage to put anything in here? Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a picture. Yeah, this is a picture of his desk space. Now but he, if you'll notice... He gets the Grand Tour Award. Uh, at the bottom of that picture are a number of controls. It doesn't work on this picture, but let me load up the actual web page because this is freaking awesome. So what he did is he used a website called Photosynth. Oh, so this isn't something that, okay. I wasn't sure if like he worked for a company that no, had this yeah. capability or it, something. This website has this ability. So That's he awesome. did a 3D, uh, would it be called a render? Uh, panoramic, right? I think. Uh, is, oh, okay. Like, well, but so th- we can take a tour of his whole room. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome because we can see his, his awesome collection of Coke bottles down here. Uh, that's seriously impressive. We should have given him an award for that. Can he get two awards? Okay, sure. Like Coke fan? Yep. Coke, Coke fiend. Yep. <laughs> and he's, he's got a bed. How about a uh, thank you for not cleaning up your Coke fiend mess? <laughs> <laughs> it, this is great. So photosynth.com is yep. where you, or dot net. Photosynth.net. Oh, you can net? do yeah. this here for yourself if you want to just have this to show off to people. Yeah. It's freaking rad. It really is. And you can also zoom in and stuff. Oh, nice desk too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It, really, it's more the presentation that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Although I want to monitor that big. Yeah, yeah, Please. that is awesome. I like that his desktop background is is his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, congratulations, Avatar Continuum. Yay, Grand Tour. All right, the next award goes to Awesome Sauce. Awesome. And he gets the Classy Award. Your sauce is awesome, dude. Which is funny because when I originally made this uh, slideshow, I made every award classy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to rename each one with something different and anyway i thought it'd be funny to do an award show where everything was classy <laughs> <laughs> so what he did is he uh he emailed me saying that he had a messy desk but as mm. you can see it's not <laughs> no if but, that's messy then whatever yeah but it looks really classy because it's black and white yeah that is why and that's the uh, whole reason it looks classy is black and white it, it well you can take a pile of a landfill you can take a picture of a landfill and, and put it in black and white huh. and it looks classy Hey, if uh, Rikai's there, find a picture like that. <laughs> He's our Rikipedia. <laughs> Black and white landfill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know. If oh, you you're know- right. Yeah. Well, Awesome Sauce is the creator of that logo, and he went ahead and oh. ordered two shirts and a mouse pad. I have a with shirt that. with that with that yeah. logo on it as well. I yeah. kind of wish I would have worn it tonight. Now. Oh yeah. But yeah. 
It's a great logo. Yeah, it really is. And Jupiter at Night is on hiatus-ish right now, or it's being reformatted, I guess yeah. is a good way to say it. Yeah. It's going to come back. It and uh, relaunching in like uh, mm-hmm. two and a half weeks. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, from the day that we're recording this. Nice. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Woo! <clears throat> All right, the next award goes to, I don't know how to say his name, honestly. Let's go with John. Okay, there's John. So this C-O-N-D-O-U-L-O. award goes to John. O U L O. No, it's probably Condaulo or Conduolo. I say Condulu in my head. Well, your head is weird. I know, right? Like Rogus. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that has to come up at least once per show. <laughs> I think so. Oh, okay. Hekchi says it's Condo Ulu. Condo. Condo Ulo. Condo Ulo. Ulu. Whatever. Ooh. Ooh and ooh with an L in between. Ulu. Conduolo, actually, in the chat room, just says lol. So <laughs> well, I don't really helps. know if we're getting close at all. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's just lol. Lol. <laughs> all Apparently. Right. So he won a, an award called Boxes for, oh, well, for boxes. Yeah. He keeps all the boxes to the build of his computer. Now, my uh, my setup, also I also keep a lot of my boxes, but it's all mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. Uh, his is actually a little more unique in that he's got his actual computer components and like right. a phone and a C- but this is all the actual boxes for his, what he built, what mm-hmm. he plays on, what he what he uses. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> interesting. And I would point out to the people at home, handy. Because like uh, if this guy has to take this and install new drivers, all he has to do is glance up at his shelf and say, that's the card that I have installed in my system. He doesn't right. have to go through his BIOS and look for the... <laughs> Nice. Bull crap. I mean, it can be confusing if you haven't updated things manually in a while. And this is a great way to keep the uh, the... the the references. Specs known. Yeah, mm-hmm. the references right there at your fingertip. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of my Apple Shrine, which I have shared in the past, mm-hmm. but I won't because I don't want hate from the chat room. Uh, Rickypedia has linked, I think, uh, what we asked him to link. A black and white landfill. A <laughs> couch. Now see, that is classy. That is classy. It's even torn up and stuff. That is so classy. <laughs> awesome. Stay classy, internet. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> All right. Cyber Axe gets the next award. And it is a Jupiter award because... This is named well. He has a Jupiter mouse pad. He does? And he's got Chris on his monitor. One yeah, of his I love it when you guys turn in your... Um, he's watching TechSnap. Yeah, it's so awesome when you guys are watching us when you take these pictures. <laughs> it is really cool. Although I think the chat room is already making fun of him for his CRTs instead of flat screens. Well, this is true. You know, if they work, they work, though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's got a Jupiter mouse pad there. Yeah, and I don't think it's a Jupiter mouse pad because of us, honestly. It's just because it's the planet. Well, let's be honest. It's the pretty planet awesome. Jupiter is pretty darn cool. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. So Cyberax is the creator of... <laughs> this oh the one with your head in it yeah he created your head thing the one that i said before looks a little mm. like a bad word mm. My, oh, there, there you go, go. Why? hold it down i am oh there you go okay there we go you just had to be forceful about it the <laughs> fuck show i'm yeah <laughs> jeremy <laughs> jeremy's funny anyway so you can order that on the uh store site that we that I linked earlier earlier and I just linked again with Woo. two keystrokes because I'm that awesome nice nice See, it's right there autofill me no it's not down there oh well whatever it was down there okay wow, next award guys, goes you guys to talk next award goes to dreams void he gets the cable management win uh this specifically says cable munigamit <laughs> munigamit <laughs> cable munigamit 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 Munigat? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> all right. So, first of all, he has put a bunch of soda labels on his wall behind his computer. Mm-hmm. And then below, or the other shot, the orangish shot, there is a little wooden figurine guy yeah. holding his cables. What like a nice that, little dude. That is his cable management uh Thing. That's a really clean looking setup. He's got wireless keyboard and mouse, so he doesn't have well, cables yeah. to worry about. Because there. earlier in the chat room, honestly, he was saying how much he hates cables. And I said, hmm. that's really funny because I am doing your award right now and it's about cables. <laughs> so. And a Rubik's Cube. 
Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. What? We're going to switch to this screen so that they can see us while we talk. Oh. All right. So. Well, now I'm worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to follow along on my end, though, because I can. That's that's fine. Dr. Kaz, Dr. Kaz, every time I say that wrong, I... You kick yourself in the head What is mentally. it? I owe you a dollar. Is that what it is? Oh, I hope it's not a dollar. We say it wrong a lot. Oh, con-do-lo. That's what I thought it was. Con-do-lo. Con-do-lo. All right. <coughs> <laughs> Rogue guy says, I, I owe the soda companies a million bucks in royalties. <laughs> no, that was product placement. They owe us. Yeah. Advertising. Yeah. All right. Um, so he gets the <laughs> OMG WTF barbecue <laughs> award. Yeah. Um, now just <sighs> Dr. Kaz. Kaz. Man after my own heart. Now, when he sent this in for his previous setup, I think it was only the two monitors uh, and the big yeah. screen behind it. And in fact, I think I have that up right now. So since that point in time, Dr. Kaz has added if i recall correctly and we'll, we'll check here shortly he's added two more monitors now his setup here this uh this three-way monitor thing is actually uh what do they call it ifinity capable and he's also shown us shots of playing video games in that wide panoramic view it looks incredible and actually i think dr kaz is going to be joining me in the post show tonight doing borderlands gameplay and i can only imagine what that will look like there we go with the ifinity going on so that's his old setup yep so not only has he added two monitors, but he also replaced that other one. That yep. doesn't look like one that's currently on his desk. Yeah, no. Downside. His current setup has less room for toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where, what are you doing with those, uh, Dr. Kaz? Kaz? Dr. Kaz? Another dollar down the drain. I know, right? It's just, <laughs> I, I think about his name so much. <laughs> when I talk to him in the chat room, I'm constantly reinforcing saying it the wrong way. Oh, he says his TV is also new as well. Oh, it is. It's way bigger. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. I need to get this back on the one it was supposed to be on. I need to uh, I need to find out what Dr. Kaz does for a living and how we can talk him into sending yeah. his extra money our way instead of... I mean, that, that setup to me, Dr. Kaz, that looks done. So yeah. in the future, you, you know. <laughs> All right. The next award goes to Faz1988. Oops. There we go. Transporter Cable Management. No, Mitigate. Mitigate. <laughs> so he originally took the picture on the left, but figured that Chris and Jeremy would see this yep, right there. Peeking out of the side there. I would have seen yep. that. So he took a picture of that ship and uh, there's a cable running through it. Like it is cable management creatively, just like Dreams Void did. <laughs> <laughs> but with the, the little dude. So. That's Murphy's favorite ship. Hey, uh, is is Faz in the chat room right now? I think he is. What's the poster sitting there next to it? Is that also Star Trek related by any chance? Hi, Faz. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we stuck on my face forever? Shot three doesn't work. Oh, no. Edit Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not Star Trek related. No, but I, I also noticed that you have Xbox controllers. Do you have an Xbox there as well? You do. I see it there sitting underneath your, your screen. I've I had to go through hell to get my Xbox hooked up through my desktop system. And I still have to rewire every time I want to play the Xbox instead of uh, whatever. So, hmm. well done on getting your setup set up. All right. The next award goes to Gourmet Army. And he gets the buy level win. What level did he buy? <laughs> Because, because he can sit or stand at his desk. It's like one of those old uh, synthesizer setups from the 1980s band. Yeah. Nice. He's also conveniently labeled. His London Underground map? Uh, yeah, but also the figurines at the top here, but oh. I can't get it zoomed in at the oh, moment. So. I, think, I think I might be able to zoom this Sweet. in. Sweet. Over her. Over her. So, he has Spider-Man, Ra, 
Lego Chewbacca, Lego Obi-Wan Coyote. Co- <laughs> That's funny. I was going to say Obi-Wan Coyote. Because, <laughs> again, I say his name so much in my head when yeah. I'm in the chat room. And right, Lego uh, Darth Vader. Okay. Random African... Totem. Totem, okay. And Arthur Doesn't Dent. Doesn't fit in at all. So, I don't know. I mean, I recognize Why? a couple of those things, but meh. Somebody needs to get him one more action figure so he can take down that African totem. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Hendershot says, I see some unity in that shot. Is he running, uh, what would that be, Ubuntu? Oh, you Linux? know, I think he told me in his email, but I don't have that up at the moment. Huh. Yeah. Way to fail. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Jeremy. No, I, Woo! It's a real pat on the back for you there. Good. <laughs> Good job, Jars. <laughs> All right. Hendershot gets the next award for Drunken Linux. And this one is. is definitely Linux then. Yes, it's Arch. Arch Linux, and look at that. He's got Jupiter Broadcasting up. With the Morg! Represent! With, <laughs> <laughs> with the Morg on there. You called this Drunken because he's got a uh, mic card over there. He's got the little, you know, blue plastic party cups. Right. And uh, a mic's hard. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Hendershot, what's the thing in the middle? The kind of screeny looking thing. Is that, uh, is that a tablet of some sort or what is it? Mint and Arch in a VM. Sweet. It's a seven inch Mimo. I don't even know what a Mimo is. That's his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, and it was soda. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. 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 Right. I, I also like that his candle looks like the planet Jupiter, which is right behind my head right now. It kind of does. That is funny. Jupiter candle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> All right. The next award goes to H.W. Killer. No, that's pronounced Killer. 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 Yeah, there you go. Killer. Killer. Electronics Overdose. It's like that is a very classy bam, bam, setup bam, bam, as well. Bam, bam, bam. I could totally see this being in uh, black and white. <laughs> yeah, because it's very cl- it's very classy. Yeah, let's put a filter on this. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, I'm gonna have oh, zoom in on um, his laptop there with his mini laptop with his cell phone against the CRT. Oh, that's why the right? tech overload was going on her. Huh? Yeah, here we go. Check that out. Right. So he's like, got like a netbook with that's his four phone keyboards on right it. there. <laughs> you know? Yep. A physical keyboard, the phone keyboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. And then <laughs> two laptop keyboards or a notebook and a, or anyway, whatever they're, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. That's just a crazy epic setup. But I have to wonder. Some damn big bullets, too. See this? Yeah, I see that. I think that's a see through case for a computer. I think that might be what the CRT is connected to. Possibly. I don't actually know. Let's but, ask him. And I have to wonder if it works. You know, like if he really has It is a, indeed a see-through case. Nice. It looks pretty heavy duty like acrylic, so it's probably um, pretty good at uh, supporting everything and not rattling. But I worry, I would worry about heat management in a system like that. Mm. Um, well, and in a desk like that. Right. <laughs> I mean, I know they vent on the on the front and the back, but the sides, I don't know. Yeah. IDK about that. Very fancy though, and I could. I, oh, oh, oh! What is this white thing next to your subwoofer? I think that's a mini fridge, Angela. <gasps> is it really? I do believe that is a mini fridge. I hate mics. I had to think about that, Angela. I'm a beer fan. The mics is my ladies. <laughs> that is a well, mini fridge, but it's broken. That. Oh. Ah. Oh. Heartbreak. It is a really cute mini fridge. Yeah. Seriously. Mm. But it's broken. But it's, bro- it's broken, as Dylan says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Con- oh. do- Condolo. Do- Condulo. Condulo. <laughs> Half the show is pronouncing your names, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next award goes to, and I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to say Gene. <laughs> Marciniak. Mar- Marciniak is how I would say it. But I don't know if it's right. So... Gene is right. Woo, he says. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Marci- <laughs> Marciniak, baby. Okay, well, anyway, his award is uh, minimalistic. Hmm. For the win. Of course, it's a Mac if you right? win that award. Right? Although, Woo! is that an iMac and a Mac Mini? I, 
Is that a, is that what the Mac Minis look like now? They're pretty tiny, like because I thought it. I thought that might have been like a hard drive or an external CD-ROM additional or something. Oh, it's an Airport Extreme. Oh, is that what those look like now? Yeah, <laughs> I think we have like one of those <laughs> dome-shaped ones. Oh, right. Still, ish. And a Star Trek Online mouse pad. Yep. What's the second mouse? Yeah. Oh, that's probably a gaming mouse because you can't play games on a freaking Mac mouse. Mm -mm. No, no way. Although there's uh, quite a few people I'm sure in the chat room that would say you can't play games, period, on a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as the host of the morgue, <laughs> maybe. Uh, you can get away with it. I would have previously before working here at Jupiter Broadcasting said Macs for gaming is a, is a joke. Mm -hmm. But Chris has taught me better. Good. So, um, yeah, because like you can just dual boot. Just dual boot that baby. Well, Gene is my buddy in crime because... You have something else to show off? Because I am also a Mac. <laughs> and this was about half hour ago. <laughs> Let me see if I can copy my pose. <laughs> With Abby watching <laughs> uh, Jeremy before Cybite. She's so big. Or actually after. Look yeah. at the size of that baby. I know, right? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's coming to eat me. And if you're wondering what my whole setup looks like, there you go. I wasn't wondering. Oh. Well, all right. Let's move oh, on. Oh, but thanks anyway. I was kidding. Here it is. <laughs> There's my iPad all, my keyboard, and my chats. I would find that very inconvenient not having the mouse on the same level as the keyboard. It's not. It's actually inconvenient to have to reach it under the desk. To, like, if you had it under there? Too. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mad Joe. Can, can Mad Joe have an award? Yeah. Mad Joe can has an award. That's convenient. Yeah. He gets the convenient award. Way to go, Mad Joe. I was going to have a three-letter uh, three abbreviation after that, but I went ahead and left it off. So this is a laptop pillow. Yes, it is. Because he doesn't have a, a setup, a place uh, to set up at home. So I find it interesting, and I don't think Mad Joe is here right now because he's probably sleeping, but I would be curious. On his laptop pillow. Yeah, I'd be curious if it causes heat issues. I'm sure it does, although that doesn't look like a very high-powered laptop. It might be. I could be. I don't. I off base regardless, here, the hard drive gets warm, right? Or what? Or is it the hard drive that gets warm? Depends on what you're doing. Mm. <laughs> well, um, Some, mine gets warm in a specific place. <laughs> <laughs> is that the hard drive? I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to look under my laptop to see. Actually, oh. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, Leanna saw my Plurk page. This yeah. is true. Probably the video card says for Kai. But if you're gaming, definitely using it. Or anything. the CPU. Right. Or if or if I'm bit uh Bitcoin mining, it's the GPU, right? Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Magic. Oh guys asks, what is Plurk? Do you want to lay some information on our chat room right now? I'm gonna plurk your mind. <laughs> plurk is uh it's like a really good hybrid of Twitter and Facebook, hmm. and it came to be, uh, actually, I just had my three-year plurk, plurk anniversary on uh, June 5th, so I've been on it for three years. It's my private social network. <laughs> That's but just because nobody else uses it. It's, no, <laughs> no, no, I, talk, I, I can talk freely to like the 50 people that I'm friends with on there. Hmm. I went, I went pr completely private on there. Um, now, I have been honestly kind of thinking about trying it out because I'm, I won't friend you. That's fine. Um, <laughs> because Facebook is weird and mm -hmm. it's got all the game spam and all that stuff like that. And I don't, yes, I don't care about no any of that crap spam at all. And I really like Twitter and there's no email notifications. Huh? You just, you log in and you can, you can choose a filter, you know, my clerks, responded clerks, private clerks, liked clerks. They added liking, you know, after Facebook did. But I agree anyway. with Brother Lou in the in the chat room. He what? says Plurk anniversary sounds dirty for some reason. Mm -hmm. I agree. Sure. Well, Plurk came to be right around when Twitter was um, becoming infamous for the fail whale. Mm. You know, they're having growing pains. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. And Facebook wasn't as good as it is now, but still it's where I go. I, like my family's on Facebook now. <laughs> and you don't always want to say things that they and can I read. Don't. I don't, but I need input on some things sometimes. Yep. So that's I why I don't that. use Facebook much. <laughs> yeah. So Majo uh, wants to talk to your family. <laughs> Majo submitted a second award or second 
picture and he gets oh. the post-it award. I think post-its are hilarious. Dude, so, you should see my desk. I should have sent you a picture. So first of all, this Majo is a repeat offender of the <laughs> desk submission awards. <laughs> Here we go. No, that's no. Ricky Fold Chris. No, no. What happened? I must have scrolled on accident. Well, there's Why would everybody you do else's. That? These are from these are the last year's awards. Oh my goodness. There's so many of them. Hold please. <laughs> oh, that's where Dr. Dr. It's a shame you didn't have him in alphabetical order. That's where last Dr. Year. Kaz works. Or that was his work set up last uh, mm, November. Right. All right. Fanless me LaBelle. Fanless mm. has been a Plurk member since June of 08. Nice. So he joined prior to the faux show. He's not just tra uh, stalking. Oh, June what? June, June 1st. First. Oh, he was five days before me. Ooh. But years after you. A year. No, no. You, you no, no, Three no, years is 2008. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Found Ma it. Majo had best use of a flex desk. Oh, he didn't have his own desk. I nope. remember this. Nope. But now he does. Awesome. Well done. And he covers it in post-its. And he's got a ton of post-its. And the reason why they're so funny is like people use them and they like stick them on their monitor mm -hmm. so that they will remember it. But then it becomes part of the monitor. You just don't see it anymore. Yeah. It's just like clutter. You know, you just don't see all the I individual have, things. I don't even know how many, but I have probably 10 or so post-its on my desk and like kind of layered on top mm -hmm. of each other in different right. arrangements right. of information that I need to remember and have at my fingertips. Like Google Doc it. Seriously. Uh, but then I have to go online and log in and find it when with this, I just glance down and it's right there. Do you ever need it when you're not at home at your desk? I, maybe. Because you can just find a Wi-Fi But you know what's funny about that? What? If that ever comes up, I have pictures of it in my Evernote <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> you took pictures of your of my post-its. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Never had to use it, but just in case, there is a contingency plan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> that is horrible. All right, let's move on to. Uh, Heck, she's asking for proof. Murphy. So while you talk about this next one, I'm going to load up my Evernote here. And, oh, okay. My battery's low. All right, here we go. Why don't we do that one since Jeremy's messing around? Murphy gets the Ideally Award. Mm. Ideally, this is what everybody would want as their desk. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know anything about this other than it looks very Star Trek-y. It is a captain's ready room. It, oh, a ready room? Yeah. Explain that to me, uh, Jeremy. I'm not sure exactly who this captain gets ready is. there? <laughs> it's like an office okay. attached to the bridge, which means he's on duty technically, but he has some private time. Mm. So he can plan out <laughs> stuff and like that. Mm. Um, I'm Murphy, you're here. Enterprise E, he says. But it looks like he's ah. also added extra little bits to it to make it a little personalized uh, of his own. Gene says, Jeremy got one of my iPhone, baby. Well... Jeremy has my iPhone, yeah. baby. <laughs> Which is why it's got this ghetto little thing My old at the 3G. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're the one that keeps it on there. Yep. I could have pulled it off by now, but. So, yeah. So, that's a pretty cool cool setup, really. Even, it, it looks kind of cramped and small, but I think it would be, it, it's cozy. And the reason there's no computer that. is in the future, uh, you would just use iPad type. Actually, at that point, they're Tablet. just called pads, pads with two Ds. Interesting. But. <laughs> Interesting. How foreshadowing. <laughs> huh. I figured it would just be like, you know, mind meld or whatever, but Star Trek doesn't seem to do that too much. No, not uh, for like the regular humans. Right. Well, humans are in, inferior to you everybody else. Are Borg. Right? You will assist us. All right. I'm, I'm trying to find my pictures of my post-its. I'm going to keep going here, but they're, they're loading very slowly because right. of the Wi-Fi out here. Neen gets the next award. And it's it's kind of mean, actually, because I'm making fun of him. But he still has CDs. You know, mean rhymes with mean. Yeah, <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Look at all those CDs. That's the first thing that I saw. I was like, oh, my gosh. For crying out loud. They might be game DVDs. Can you zoom in and find out? Uh, well, they could be, but still. You are bored. I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to have that stuck in my head, too. Look at that I'm, big I, mouse. I didn't realize how many <laughs> pictures I take. Or, I mean, audio notes I take. Yeah. So there that is. Oh, I just think it's funny, Rogue Eyes, to have a bunch of CDs. I think it's funny, too. Thank you. 
I still have a bunch of CDs though. Leanna so is waiting friends. for the food replicator. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Actually. Um, I think they almost did an episode about that of Jupiter at night. I think one of the last episodes was talking about, um, 3d printing mm. and, uh, Oh yeah. 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 3D printing is coming a long way already and it could potentially be a precursor to eventual replicator technology. Mm -hmm. Not exactly mm -hmm. like what it is in Star Trek, but really darn close. Actually, we're coming up on somebody that does 3D printing. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about Nighthawk first. Nighthawk gets the Technology Graveyard Award. Whoa! Check that out, right? He's modding some of this stuff, too. What does modding mean? It means he's taking stuff apart and putting new guts in it. Yeah. Well, notice his mouse pad for yellow snow, <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome. And uh, and there's... Can you see my mouse? Sometimes it shows up. Anyway, the, the Nintendo controller. Yeah, there. that's what I was looking at. I think it's like... I think that's a wallet. Yeah, I think so, too. But uh, chat room asked for a zoom and enhance shot, so yep. I'm doing so. Yep. There it is. And uh, I'll just slowly zoom across his desktop here. He's got... One phone there. Got another Blackberry over there. Yeah. Uh, wait. There's a, I think that's a phone as well. you point out the Swiss Army knife? <laughs> yeah. Because that's pretty epic. I think I have the same one. It's nice. got my name on it. <laughs> then it's not the same one, Jeremy. I'm no, sorry No, it's not the same one, but it's got probably sim similar tool set up. I like the uh, spare batteries just laying around there. Yeah. And change. I think my favorite part of his desk setup, though, mm -hmm. is the fact that it looks like he's using something that was salvaged out of a, a landfill <laughs> for his actual desk. Probably a black and white landfill, so it's classy. Right, right. Um, but yeah, it's pretty Yeah, it doesn't need there. a new coat of paint or, no. or stain. It just needs to be black and white. Right. The oh, keyboard, a keyboard is under buried. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a remote on top and probably yeah. some bills. I like the electrical tape, too. That's a good touch. Yep. And the, it, there's also a, a spot of... <laughs> probably gap, on gaffer's the table. tape on the table itself yep that is awesome <laughs> all right hey if it works for him that's that's awesome for sure all right next award goes to peer cool you pronounced it right i know you're getting good at this i worked on it yep he gets practiced the want award. because you want it yes yes i do want it Oh, and he, I think he wants it. I've seen this on the yes, internet. Yes, he doesn't I don't want think it this too. Is his. No, it's not. In fact, if you want to pull up the link uh, uh, and the, and paste it in the chat room, because I think people are going to want to look uh, look into this. So yeah, this, this desk is his computer. Yeah, it's got the guts of the computer inside the top of the case yeah, there, and it's that uh, liquid cooling system, mm -hmm. and he's uh, put that in the crawl space below the desk and drilled up through the floor to feed the tubes into this desktop. It's three inch aluminum and uh, it's pretty freaking cool. Like you can sit there at your computer and watch it run, literally. I've always thought of potentially putting together a custom computer that was like the guts were clearly visible and not mm -hmm. in a configuration that looked like a typical tower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like have a video card over here and a thing over <laughs> there. and then That just sounds messy. I know, but I always thought that it was kind of cool to, as a concept. Mm -hmm. Although the wire clutter would be terrible. Yeah. But you could just go clear. Yeah. <laughs> or get like cool LED too. cables so that you could actually watch the cables run everywhere. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. cool. So when I'm rich. <laughs> yeah. The desk must have been pricey. Can I yeah, swim in actually, the desk? <laughs> it, the, the link is in the chat room and it I think there's some talk in there about how much it, it would cost to to get the components uh, for not only the computer but the desk itself to mm -hmm. have it custom built to have it assembled and all that kind of stuff. And, and it's not cheap. It's mm -hmm. very pricey. Mm -hmm. So Power <coughs> 543 gets the Comfort Award. Comfort. Because his desk just looks comfortable. <laughs> homey. Yeah, it's very homey. Although it also looks like it's in his dining room or something. Yeah, it might be. It might be. And he's in another country. I don't think he is awake. Hmm. Like Slacker. UK-ish. So he's watching the reruns right now? <laughs> yeah, he could be. He could yeah. be. Uh, let's see. Brunman says, have you guys seen the Han Solo in Carbonite Table? No. I have. It's pretty darn epic. Plus the pillow. Yes. The, yeah, pillow, the pillow on his chair. The pillow is epic, really. This I does, would sit his on His home pillow. has sort of a Mediterranean feel. I'm, I think you're right about the uh, foreign country somewhere. Oh, sh there's no question about it. He is. He yeah. just graduated. 
I know a lot about you guys when I follow you on Facebook. <laughs> it's freaky. <laughs> it is. Um, so, <clears throat> the next award is for Shameless Heathen. He gets the Truly Mobile Award. Really? Yeah, really. Nice truly. background, man. Truly Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> he is a truck driver. Oh. Yeah, and so that is his mobile setup. He's got a, a clamp there for his yeah, uh, clamp amount. For, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. And it's a good size for what he does. Yeah. Although that would, I think, get pretty annoying. But, you know, if you got to work, you got to work. I'd probably look for a, um, a mount that had a mouse pad off to the side. I hate using oh, track yeah. pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do too. Tra- yeah. Yeah. Yep. Although, you know, he could just do the little um, wireless mice with the little tiny USB thing on the side and then just yeah, use guess. his leg. Or even just this space. Or that notebook. The, that notebook. There we go. <laughs> That notebook. <laughs> I would have probably actually given him an award for the Dr. Pepper, to be honest. Or really? the or the wallpaper. That's Yeah. Well <laughs> we're talking about maybe. Or yeah. the cooler in the passenger seat. Which was probably full of Dr. Oh, Pepper. Yeah. No, or food, because it's expensive to eat out on the road. My dad's a trucker. Yar. Was. Yar. Isn't. Oh, he hates mice anyway, so I guess no problem with the uh with the trackpad. Yep. So, let's see. I think this is the final. Yep. This is the final award. Oh, so not just classy. It's not just classy like all the other awards were at some point today. <laughs> it's super classy. And But it's not in black and white. How can it be super classy it if it's not in black it, and white? Well, see the thing I is I don't understand. The next best thing to black and white is throwing a punch of red in it. <laughs> I'm serious. If you've ever watched Trading Spaces or any of the other TLC, we're going to make over your room. You have to add red. Right? It's black, white, and red. This would make even better if it was one of those black and white pictures where the red wasn't filtered out. And so it was just black and white plus the red. That would be... Yeah. That would be really cool. The chat room really likes the... um, the poster, the Star Trek poster. Yep, yep. Well, I really like his mounted surround sound speakers on the wall there. Yeah. And the the kind of desk uh, shelf thing. That's really nice. Now, that didn't show up as a link. That's awesome. Why didn't it? I don't know. It did on my side. Oh, because it's... Oh, okay, good. You have to HTTP for some right. clients. Um, So, he runs that website there, stnet.nu. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I think on that right-hand monitor is actually a picture of his previous award for running STNet. Ah, I did not <laughs> zoom in. That is awesome. Ta-da. Oh, my goodness. Look at him being all <laughs> With thoughtful. With little tiny S's in front of it. Woo. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he went on Justin TV and highlighted his award. And, you know, I won yeah. an award. Yay. That's awesome. All right, cool. Yeah, so he runs that Star Trek website that I linked there, stnet.nu. You guys should check it out. It's pretty cool. Yep. So that brings us to the end of the show. Oh, no. I know. It's over already. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's almost a half hour. Come on. (laughs) So the next award show is 13T with a small H. (laughs) (laughs) On July 13th. July 13th. (gasps) Yeah, this, it's always the second Wednesday of the month, okay? <laughs> Email Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Tell me about your summer project. Tell me about your summer project and include pictures, a draft of what you plan to do, um, whatever. So like if Anything you're planning to summer. remake your garden or something like that yep, during the or, summer when the weather's nice or, or, go or on put vacation, in a new pool. Go on vacation to Vegas like Dr. Kaz is going to do. Nice. Or um, Also at the end of summer, Dr. Kaz is coming to visit us at PAX. Kaz. Whatever. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't want to owe him another dollar. Um, and uh, yeah. So Some of these people's summer projects should probably be cleaning your desk. <laughs> yes. That is that is good. And you can Guilty. resubmit the picture. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Email me your picture. And uh, I think that will wrap up this episode of The Faux Show. So thank you, thank you, everybody, for submitting your pictures. And we'll see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for Faux Show.